In this video, we will explore immunodeficiency disorders, which are caused by defects in the immune system, leading to an impaired ability to fight infections or an exaggerated immune response against self-tissues. We will discuss the molecular pathways, genetic mutations, and clinical manifestations of these disorders. Bruton's agammaglobulinemia, or X-linked agammaglobulinemia, XLA, is an immunodeficiency disorder caused by a genetic mutation in the BTK gene. This mutation impairs B-cell development and antibody production, leading to recurrent bacterial infections. Clinical presentation includes respiratory tract infections, and diagnosis is confirmed by measuring immunoglobulin levels and detecting low B-cells. Chetiakagashi syndrome, CHS, is a rare genetic disorder caused by mutations in the least gene. This gene is responsible for lysosomal trafficking within cells. In CHS, lysosome dysfunction affects neutrophils, leading to recurring infections, albinism, bruising, and neurological abnormalities. In our discussion of X-linked agammaglobulinemia, XLA, we focus on the role of the BTK gene. Mutations in this gene lead to the absence or dysfunction of BTK, preventing normal B-cell development and reducing immunoglobulin production. This results in recurrent bacterial infections, mainly in the respiratory tract. Early diagnosis through genetic testing and immunoglobulin replacement therapy are crucial for managing XLA and improving patient outcomes. X-linked lymphoproliferative disease, XLP, is a rare immunodeficiency disorder caused by mutations in the SAP gene. This gene is important for normal T and NK cell function. XLP patients are at risk for severe infections, particularly EBV, due to impaired viral control. Early diagnosis, antiviral treatment, and stem cell transplantation are crucial for managing XLP. Complement deficiencies are immunodeficiency disorders where the complement system, important in innate immunity, is impaired. Various deficiencies can cause recurring bacterial infections or make individuals more susceptible to certain infections. Early diagnosis, infection management, and complement replacement therapy are important for patient outcomes. Autosomal dominant hyper IgE syndrome, AD highs, or job syndrome is a rare immunodeficiency disorder with deficits in the STAT3 signaling pathway. This affects immune function, leading to recurring skin abscesses, high EGA levels, and eosinophilia. Treatment involves antibiotics and immune modulators. Autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome, ALPS, is a heterogeneous disorder characterized by defects in lymphocyte homeostasis and regulation of apoptosis. ALPS arises due to mutations in genes involved in the FOS-mediated aptotic pathway, mainly FOS and FALB. ALPS patients experience the development of lymphadenopathy, splenomegaly, and autoimmune cytopenias due to the defective apoptosis of lymphocytes. The accumulation of autoreactive T and B cells leads to lymphoproliferation. Treatment mainly involves managing autoimmune manifestations and, in some cases, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Good syndrome, also known as thymoma-associated immunodeficiency, is an acquired immunodeficiency disorder typically associated with thymoma, a tumor of the thymus gland. The exact pathogenesis of Good syndrome is not completely understood, however, thymoma-associated disturbances in T-cell development and function play a significant role. Patients with Good syndrome often develop various autoimmune manifestations, such as cytopenias, gastrointestinal disorders, and opportunistic infections. Treatment involves thymoma resection, immunoglobulin replacement therapy, and managing associated autoimmune conditions. Immunodeficiency with hyper-IgM type 2, HIG2, is a rare disorder caused by a mutation in the A gene. This leads to impaired antibody maturation, resulting in elevated IM levels and reduced levels of other immunoglobulins. HIG2 patients are prone to bacterial infections and require immunoglobulin replacement therapy and antimicrobial prophylaxis. Reticular dysgenesis is a rare autosomal recessive form of severe combined immunodeficiency, SCID, characterized by a profound deficiency of both T and B lymphocytes and severe neutropenia. Mutations in the adenylate kinase 2, AK2, gene, vital for nucleotide metabolism, underlie this condition. Patients with reticular dysgenesis present with severe, life-threatening infections in the early neonatal period, including bacterial, viral, and fungal pathogens. Hematopoietic stem cell transplantation is the curative treatment for reticular dysgenesis, as it replenishes the deficient immune system. Mendelian susceptibility to mycobacterial diseases, MSMD, encompasses a heterogeneous group of primary immunodeficiency disorders characterized by increased susceptibility to mycobacterial infections. MSMD arises due to defects in the interferon gamma, IFN gamma, pathway, essential for controlling intracellular mycobacterial pathogens. Patients with MSMD suffer from recurrent or severe infections caused by mycobacteria, 
including Mycobacterium tuberculosis and Mycobacterium bovis bacillus calmet garan, BCG, vaccine strains. Genetic testing, early diagnosis, antimycobacterial treatment, and immunomodulatory agents form the basis of management for patients with MSMD. Closing our discussion on immunodeficiency disorders, hyper ege syndrome with craniofacial and skeletal abnormalities, commonly known as Grishelli syndrome type 2, is a rare autosomal recessive disorder. Mutations in the RAB27A gene disrupt vesicle trafficking within immune cells, leading to abnormal cellular function. Patients with Grishelli syndrome type 2 exhibit a distinctive triad of clinical features, including recurrent skin and lung infections, partial albinism, and severe neurological abnormalities. The management involves treating infections, addressing neurological sequela, and occasionally considering hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. In conclusion, it is important for medical students to comprehend the intricate nature of immunodeficiency disorders. Understanding the genetics, molecular mechanisms, and clinical aspects of these disorders is vital for accurate diagnosis, effective treatment, and favorable patient outcomes. By delving into the complexities of immunodeficiency disorders, medical students will be well prepared to address these conditions in their future clinical practice.